Holly Tanaka, Osiris' resident engineer, is, much like the rest of her squad, something of a standout. Born on the colony of Minab, Tanaka's world came to an end in 2550 when the Covenant glassed her home world. While she and her father were spared, Tanaka's brothers and mother were at the heart of the glassing campaign. As nuclear winter set in, Tanaka, her father, and nine other survivors gathered together, hoping to hold out until rescue could be called in. Unfortunately, with Kigyar scavengers roaming the glasslands, any sort of distress beacon could just as likely attract them as it would the UNSC. Tanaka, already a skilled engineer, was put to the test over the next year and forced to learn new skills to survive. A year after the glassing, one of the survivors started to go crazy, threatening the chances for everyone else as they debated whether or not to kill the man. Secretly, Tanaka's father let the man loose into the freezing winterscape, hoping he would die from exposure and that the others could move on. Unfortunately, the crazed man survived long enough to find himself in the presence of Kigyar scavengers and led them straight to his former camp. With no warning, the camp quickly fell to the Kigyar. However, two survivors managed to save Tanaka. Former insurrectionists, the two men showed Tanaka how to survive in the wild and cause trouble for the Kigyar forces. Two years later in 2553, the UNSC would finally show up, rescuing the three survivors. Sometime after rescue, Tanaka would enlist in the UNSC army, eventually assigned to the 412th Engineer Command. In 2556, the UNSC Cascadia was sent to investigate the human colony of Slayel, a month after its glassing by a Covenant remnant faction. As it turned out, some Covenant factions ignored the ceasefire of 2552 and kept up with Covenant doctrine. Though Cascadia initially thought the colony had been completely wiped out, they detected a distress beacon. Though ready to dismiss the chance of people surviving after a month, then Sergeant Holly Tanaka stepped forward, relating her own experience on a glass colony. Cascadia's captain, Captain French, decided to investigate the beacon, but ordered that Tanaka be part of the rescue party. On Slayel, the Marines were able to track down the beacon, the survivors, and a group of Kigyar. They easily dispatched the Kigyar and rescued the survivors, thanks in no small part to Tanaka. Following the mission, Captain French recommended Tanaka for recruitment by the Spartan IV program, citing her intelligence, grit, assertiveness, and selflessness. By 2558, Tanaka had joined the Spartans and was serving on board the UNSC Infinity. She served with Fireteam Domino during the Requiem campaign. On September 15, 2558, Tanaka was recruited as part of Operation Athena, an attempt to infiltrate Jewel and Dama's fleet and deny them access to the Absolute Record, an installation that contained the real-time location of every piece of Forerunner tech in the galaxy. Tanaka's main responsibility during the mission was to protect Dr. Henry Glassman. Not long after, Holly Tanaka was approached to join a newly assembled fire team, Osiris, and tasked with hunting down the rogue Spartan 2 assets known as Blue Team. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.